Let's play the A minor scale with the best possible harmonic intonation. Now you'll hear the drone, which is an F concert, so the same C for horn that we had in the C major scale. Now let's try the same tuning that we used in the C major. I'm going to start on C, go up to A and down an octave. That's well and good. Works nicely, C major, A minor, same tuning. But when we're playing the S A, our A, concert D, we'll find it's probably too flat for most musical situations. So we can erase the A and still find a nice minor third. So the minor third we had was called the ratio six to five. So for instance, if you play on our um, the horn, uh, F horn, six to five, and if that drone wasn't there, we could then make that, um, it would be a minor third, obviously. We could make it into a triad with a B above, and it would sound terrific. Now, what if we've started on a C, up to an A that way. So we went up pure fifths, C to G to D to A, and we get an A like this. Now the interval between the A and the C sounds a little more complicated, it's 32 to 27, but it still gives us a nice minor third. And the beauty of this is we can play a fifth higher from A, and it's going to work really well. I just got to pause and put the drone back on. So this A to C still works nicely. And the A to E. Of course the C to E sounds a bit rough, but if you were playing a triad A, C, E like this, it would all sound really nice. So the revised fingering then. Of course, we can play the E on the B flat horn. So I left the, the C, our C drone going just to show this difference in the tuning and the difference between the two types of E's and the two types of A's is what's called in music theory the syntonic comma. So the difference between a fifth harmonic of one series and it's actually the 81st harmonic of another. Just going through those fifths. C. The G is 3 over 2, the D is 9 over 8, we can play it as a ninth harmonic, and the A is 27 over 16. And the E is 81 over 64. So the difference between the two E's is therefore 81 to 80, which is 21 and a half cents.
So that's what? About a fifth of a semitone. But significant enough to provide headaches for um, keyboards over the last thousand years or so.